Hello everyone, my name is Chef Chaz. I'm the executive chef here at Stu Leonard's and we're in the R&D kitchen and today we're going to make a velvety smooth lobster bisque. Now a lot of people don't know it, but March is lobster month, National Lobster Month, so we're going to celebrate that by making this bisque. And you know what? A lot of people wait until the summertime, but we have lobsters all year round and they're nice hard shell lobsters right now, so we're going to make something very special. I'm going to start with a hot pan, to that, half a stick of butter a couple drops of olive oil. While that's melting down, I'm going to take one shallot. This is minced. One clove of garlic, also minced. We'll just get this going in the pan. All right, now I'm going to take one rib of celery, which has been diced. That goes in. This is one whole leek that has been washed and then diced. One whole carrot peeled and diced. We're just going to let this cook just for a couple minutes here. This is going to be the base for the bisque. We're going to puree this at the end so you won't see any of those vegetables in pieces. It will all be a nice puree. I also have uh, two cups of a concasse of tomatoes. And concasse is just a fancy way of saying peeled and seeded. And then they're chopped. So there's a concasse of tomato. That goes in. And now I'm going to add some fresh tarragon, chopped. one bay leaf, and then fresh thyme. It's about two tablespoons of each. All right, this is cooking nicely. And while this is going, I'm gonna take one of our lobsters. This is about a pound and a quarter pound to a half lobster. We're gonna put it right into boiling water here, head first. I'm also going to take a little tomato paste. This is going to act as a binding agent or a thickening agent. This is about two tablespoons. I'm going to put this right in, let that cook with our vegetables. All right. Just a touch of cognac. If you don't have cognac, by all means, you could use a little bit of sherry. That would work well with this recipe. I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit. And I already have a lobster cooked off. I'm just going to show you really quickly just how to remove the meat from that. Split down the tail, open it up. And you notice I'm doing it on not only a cutting board, but in a tray. So if there's valuable juices, I can return it to the stock later. And it'll add more intense flavor. Now this is just underdone. We're going to finish it in the pot. So if you see some of this tamale or the roe, that's fine. All right. Once you have the tail split, the meat comes out very easily. And again, you can take all these parts, add it right to our stock. This is going to intensify the flavor. Again, we have the claws. I'm just going to cut the head open a little bit, again, back into the pot. All right. Now with the claw, some people have a little bit of trouble, but it's really pretty easy. Just make one initial cut in the back here, and then you can just crack it. And you can see the meat just kind of just falls out of there if you let it. If necessary, sometimes you have to get a little more persuasive with the edge of the knife. Just press down.
and voila, beautiful claw. We're going to save the later for garnish. Now with the tail section, I'm just going to mince this up nicely. Add this to our vegetables. Again, one cut. Voila. This one will also cut. All right. Again, the drippings and the parts back into the stock. We don't want to waste anything. And again, this is just going to help intensify the flavor. All right. At this time, our vegetables are sweated out. They've actually become tender. What we're going to do is I have a stock already done. This one still has a little more time to cook, but I'm going to use this stock. I'm going to take out two cups. There we go. Bring this up to a, a nice boil. As soon as it boils, I'm going to turn down the heat to a low simmer. And at that point, I'm going to add two cups of heavy cream. The bisque is just about finished and what I will do is use an immersion blender to make a nice puree. If you don't have one of these, a regular blender will work. Just be cautious with the top whenever putting any item that's hot in a blender. Sometimes it'll, the pressure will, will blow the top off, so just be cautious with that. Now what I do is serve this family style in a bowl. We have a bisque that's ready here. And if you wanted to garnish this a little bit, you could. I like to take a little uh, creme fraiche. We'll make a real quick design here for you. Little spider web effect which always looks nice. And then that one piece of lobster meat, we're just going to add it right on the end. Now as a bisque, it's delicious and it's, and it's great just the way it is, but you can also use this bisque as a sauce. So what I've done is I, we have a couple pieces of stuffed sole. I'm going to take a little bit of that lobster bisque and just put a little bit right over the top. It makes a great sauce for whatever fish you want to serve. Once again, another exciting recipe from Stu Leonard's winning recipes cookbook, Bon Appetito.